Welcome to our exploration of one of nature's most fascinating phenomena, pollination. In this video, we'll delve into the intricate process of pollination, its significance in plant reproduction, and the remarkable mechanisms involved. What is pollination? Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the male reproductive organ of a flower, known as the anther, to the female reproductive organ, the stigma of the same or another flower. Pollination can occur in two main ways, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination happens when pollen is transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or another flower on the same plant. Cross-pollination, on the other hand, involves the transfer of pollen between flowers of different plants of the same species. Cross-pollination is more beneficial to the species as it produces genetic variation. Some plants rely on the wind to carry their pollen from one flower to another. These wind-pollinated plants often have small, inconspicuous flowers with no attractive colors. They do not produce any nectar or scent. They usually produce large amounts of lightweight pollen as they get lost in the wind. Anthers of wind-pollinated flowers are loosely attached and dangle out to release pollen into the wind. They have large feathery stigmas that hang outside the flower to catch pollen from the wind. Pollination can happen whenever there is wind to carry them, and they do not have to wait for the insects. In contrast, many flowering plants have evolved to attract animal pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and other insects. This type of pollination, known as insect pollination, is often more efficient than wind pollination. Flowers adapted for insect pollination typically have brightly colored petals and distinctive shapes, and they make sweet nectar and scent to attract pollinators. As bees or other insects visit these flowers in search of food, they inadvertently brush against the pollen-producing anthers, picking up pollen grains. When they move on to another flower, some of this pollen is transferred to the stigma, facilitating cross-pollination. Insect pollinate flowers produce moderate quantities of pollen as there is no wastage. Pollens are sticky and spiky so that they can stick to the hairy bodies of the insects. The stigmas of insect pollinated flowers are hidden inside the flower so that the insects brush against it while collecting the nectar. Pollination in insect pollinated flowers occurs only when the insects are active. So, flowers open up only at certain times of the day. The successful transfer of pollen through pollination is essential for the production of fruits and seeds, which are vital for the survival and propagation of flowering plants. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the world of pollination. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the natural world. Goodbye for now.